Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Today is another travel day and we're hopping on another speed train. I'm really excited because we're heading to one of my favourite places in Thailand. One last time of eating this breakfast, which I'm not a fan of anymore. I'm craving some Asian food for breakfast. While we enjoyed our five days in this town, the hotel experience didn't quite measure up. The room was spacious and the location was excellent, but we constantly dealt with earthworms coming through the bathroom drain. Anyways, I am ready for a new location and a new hotel. We have a fast train to Vientiane which I'm looking forward to. We're not sure what the hotel guy told the driver, but he ended up taking us straight to the airport. Somehow, we managed to explain that we needed to go to the train station instead. Luckily, we arrived just in time. Bit of a rush to reach our train since these stations have some serious security checks to clear just like at the airport it looks like this fast train system is quite popular the station is so busy journey to Vientiane takes around two hours. Please pack up your luggage and items and do not forget your belongings on the luggage rack. experience with the Laos fast train system has been excellent. I highly recommend the service to everyone. Two triple threes, eh? Yeah. Hello, how are you? Hey, <laughs> Very quick. Oh, hot, hot. Ah. Okay. steps involved in the border crossing. We've completed the steps on the Laos side. We need to take this bus to get across the border. Immigration, and that's a big queue. 
That last step took us forever, but so happy to be back in Thailand. First, we're heading back to our previous hotel to pick up one of our luggage bags that we left behind. That's the resort we stayed earlier while we spent three days in Nong Kai. We're back on the road to the hotel we booked just to store our luggage since we have an evening train to catch to our next destination. We booked a room here for just $19, making it a great option for budget travellers. Plus, it's conveniently located right by the Mekong Riverfront. I'm not quite sure what to expect from the room. Let's check it out! to show from this room. The bathroom is downstairs and I saw the biggest centipede I've ever seen crawling on the wall. I'm so relieved I don't have to stay here. After dropping off our luggage, we decided to spend a few hours at the shopping mall. Even though it's not a big mall, I really like the vibe. It has everything you need and we've been here a couple of times already and the food court was awesome. Delicious. I guess Thai people have a secret recipe that makes every dish taste amazing. for the train ride tonight. I'm really excited for the journey because we're heading to my favourite destination and I also enjoy sleeper trains.
This is the busy riverfront area in Nong Kai, which is a perfect spot to spend your evenings. Okay, it's time to go to the station. for the long overnight journey. We'll be snoozing for most of the trip, but by morning, we'll be at my favorite destination. See you all tomorrow. I'm so excited to be back in Bangkok after two years. massive new train station and we're still figuring out our way around but look at all these amazing facilities our hotel check-in is at 1 p.m. so we have plenty of time thankfully the journey was quite comfortable I can't wait to finally have an Asian breakfast this is one of my favorite dishes crispy pork and rice. Since it's still quite early in the morning, a few stalls are yet to open. I'm having another round of food because I just had to get crispy chicken and rice. I love it so much. After that delicious breakfast, we decided to head to our hotel, drop off our luggage and see if early check-in is possible. The skyscrapers are getting me excited. We dropped off our bags at the hotel, but unfortunately, our room isn't ready. So we've got a few hours to spend before we can check in. We're only staying here for one day, which makes me a bit sad. But at the same time, I'm excited because tomorrow we'll be heading to visit a new country, Cambodia. For now, we will relax at a cafe nearby to escape the heat. Lazy travels all the way. One of my favorite 
favourite places to have drinks is Amazon Cafe, as long as it's not too crowded. I love the atmosphere and they have my favourite drink, hot chocolate. Relaxation isn't hard. We've been relaxing here for an hour and now have the energy to walk around. Let's go and check out the nearby shopping mall. Peace and chill is all I want. Heartbeat of the city's beat. Every corner something sweet. Hip hop rhythm on repeat. Asia dream can't be beat. Chilling in the hotel yard Relaxation isn't hard Relaxation isn't hard This is the closest mall to our hotel So let's see what's inside It's not a huge mall compared to other shopping centres in Bangkok. Still, it's pretty decent and the best part is it has KFC, which I love. Have you tried KFC in Thailand? It's so much better than back home. We're feeling hungry, so decided to finish our lunch before heading back to the hotel. has plenty of seating and great reviews, which it truly lives up to. The food was amazing and we'll definitely be back here soon. Time to check in. Let's check out the room. washing machine, a kitchen and a dining area which is great. For the rest of the day we are going to explore a shopping mall we haven't visited yet. We also need to exchange money for US dollars to cover the visa fees for Cambodia. So let's go!
We found the exchange place and the rate is good. We finished exploring the mall and 
are feeling tired. So we decided to return to the hotel and begin packing for tomorrow's journey. We are going to take the SkyTrain to avoid traffic and this is one of the exits to reach the BTS station. Dad was regretting taking the SkyTrain since it was a bit of a walk to our hotel. But I didn't mind the walk at all. We definitely deserve a massage after all the travel and walking. This place was so good and also very close to our hotel. We are in Top Store to grab some snacks for tomorrow's journey. It looks much bigger than what you'd typically find at a cafe in Australia. The terrace has a good view, so we spent a little while enjoying it. That's all from today's video. Catch you all in the next one!